Conrad Dobler of the then St. Louis and now Arizona Cardinals is one of the best offensive linemen in NFL history. Phil Villapiano is a popular Oakland Raiders linebacker and one of the best in NFL history as well. Together, they do autograph sessions around the country. This one for Silver Bowl 43 at a party in Reno. We talked about how the NFL treats retired players. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, two, two legends. First of all, Conrad Dobler. Yeah, and, and I had just left Tampa, Florida for the uh, Super Bowl 43, and I was with Mike Dick, and we did a thing on Showtime about the gridiron greats, and we have an online auction going on right now called, you can always go to the online auction, gridirongreats.org. It's gridirongreats.org. We have a lot of great things to auction off, but you can also get on there and make a donation. Make a donation, we'll get you a t-shirt, a shirt, a lot of different things we got. And you're helping out a lot of great players. We've done a lot throughout the communities and stuff. And since the NFL and the Players Association, they don't do their part, we're asking the fans, we know that it's difficult times and stuff, to give us a little help in hand while we're beating their butts in court. Bill Villapiano, great Oakland Raider linebacker. Also, what do you think about the matter of how the NFL should take better care of retired players, really? Yeah. Well, I'm very happy to tell you that Three weeks ago, I just got, I just got a brand new knee. Congratulations. Conrad's got four of them. My knee is doing pretty good. But I did NFL not know this. It? No, the NFL did not pay for it. Ah. But at least there was a number I could call New York City, and they're going to try and help me out with, like, something. So there is a little bit of money there. And, I mean, well, it's, let me, it's, let me it's crazy. I have paid. I, I'll be going. I have to go back in for my seventh knee replacement. Seven, and seven, and nobody, I have nobody should be able, nobody should, nobody should be able. And, to no, do and, that. and I have paid more in insurance cost in the 25 years since I just the co-payments and what I've owed to hospitals than I was paid by the NFL in 10 years. You know, but the other thing that bothers me too, and it came out kind of in court, is that your likeness is used on computer games. Do you guys yeah. see any of that money at all? Yeah, we no, we didn't get any of it. Uh, uh, in fact, to tell you the truth. Players Incorporated, the union, right. takes 69% of the income as a commission. Now, if you had an agent and I had an agent that took 69% of my income, would he be an agent? <laughs> no, Hell no. No, no, Gene no, Up, no, no. Gene Upshaw made the statement that I could have the best dog food in the world, but if I can't sell it, what good is it? Well, <laughs> I'm a salesman. Phil's a salesman. And if we had the best product in the world and the guy couldn't sell it, I guess I'd have to find a new salesman, wouldn't I? I would think so. Yeah, that, that whole thing was just... Totally mishandled. Gene Upshaw, old friend, old teammate of mine. I can't believe what's happened. I, my son used to say, Dad, I'm you. I'm you. I used to make me happy. He was me on the video games. Did I get a penny? No. But we paid $50, $75 for the game. So anyway, I think it's... Um, I think it, 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 you know, everything's, everything. I, I, was, a con I, I was on the lawsuit. Wait, I just want to say, I helped the lawsuit. thanks to you and Mike yeah. Dick, that things no. are starting to happen. Well, on the lawsuit, we hit him for $28 million, yeah, and uh, we should have hit him for a lot more. And the nice thing about it, uh, you know, maybe maybe Gene Upshaw is there. Maybe he's with yeah. Kenneth Lay from Enron someplace right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for your time. I appreciate it, man.